Hello viewers, you are welcome to this video. Today, I want us to look at central differences interpolation. Central differences interpolation. Viewers, I have a video on introduction to finite differences interpolation. I also have another video on forward differences interpolation and then there is another video on backward differences interpolation. Today I want us to look at central differences interpolation. Now to do this, I want us to look at a question. I believe that after solving this question, you should be able to solve any question on central differences interpolation. The question is as follows. For the table below, find f of 2.5 by using an appropriate central differences formula. Yes, you have been asked to find the functional value of 2.5 by using an appropriate central differences formula. Okay, so solution. Let's construct a table. Those of you who have watched the videos that I mentioned, constructing this table should not be a problem at all. So we have the x values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then the corresponding functional values are 4, 14, 40, 88. 164 and 274. Okay. We don't have delta F, delta squared F, and delta key F. Now, US. Those of you who are watching the video, they said that to get the value here, which should, should be written between 4 and 14. You subtract 4 from 14. This one will be 10. And then the next one will be 40 minus 14. And that one will be 26. 88 minus 40. 48. 164 minus 88. That is 76. Yes. And then 274 minus 164. This should give us 110. Now the next one should be written here. 26 minus 10, 16. 48 minus 26. This one will be 22. And then 76 minus 48. This should be 28. And the 110 minus 76, this should be 34. And then the last one here, 22 minus 16, 6. 28 minus 22, 6. 34 minus 28, 6. US, if you continue, this one will be 0, this one will be 0. And then the zeros will not be useful. So there's no need for you to continue. You have to stop when you have a constant value. Use it. See, see, see. You have to stop. Okay. Now, you have, been, you have been asked to find the functional value of 2.5. The functional value of 2.5. So, straight away, you have to know that your answer should be greater than 14 but less than 40 because 2.5 lies between 2 and 3. So, if you saw this one, you get, say, 70. Then, you should know that there's something wrong with what you have done. You get 200, then, then there's a big problem. <laughs> okay. So let's look at it. Let me clean this one. Yeah, I said we should use an appropriate central defense formula. Let me also clean this one. Now, this is the formula you are going to use. You are going to use, so we say, using Gauss. Forward formula for C 
central defenses. And this is the formula. They are using God's forward formula for central differences. And this is the formula f of xp is equal to f not plus p. This time we are using this delta delta f not plus half. This is just a subscript plus p p minus one. Delta squared f not over two factorial plus p plus one p p minus one delta heat f not plus half like this all over three factorial. If you want to continue, then p plus one. P, P minus 1, P minus 2, delta, which of 4, F naught over 4 factorial plus and so on. US, the formula follows a pattern. Delta, you see when the delta, when the, the, the power of the delta is odd, then it will go with this aspect. Are you it? So this is odd, 1. So it has gone with this aspect. When it is even, it will go with F naught. So this one even has gone with f naught odd has gone with f naught plus half. I think it's just a subject. And then the p, this is p, then p minus one. Now unlike the forward difference where you go p minus one, p, p minus one, p minus two. You see, this one, if you go p, p minus one, and then it will come back and add. You see, p, then you move forward, subtract one from it. Then you come back and then add. You see. So p plus 1, p, p minus 1. Delta q f not plus half. Because the power is odd, it will go with all aspects of a 3 factorial. Now look at it. p plus 1, p, p minus 1. And then you move for a p minus 2. Delta is the power for f not plus uh, all over 4 factorial. Now if you want to continue from here, if you want to write the next step, then go ahead on p minus 2. You see, you have to come back and add 1 to this one. So that will be p plus 2, p plus 1, I think it, p, p minus 1, p minus 2, delta 5, f not plus 1 over 2, because this is an odd uh, uh, power, the power is odd, so to go with all the, uh, to go with this aspect, uh, f not plus a half, all over 5 factorial. So it's going to be called at all, the formula for loose pattern. Okay, now because I've been asked to find the functional value of 2.5, is well, I've been asked to find f for 2.5. This implies that sp is equal to 2.5 because this is the formula s of p is equal to this. So you have been asked to find f of 2.5. You are know your sp is 2.5. Okay, now because the value I've been asked to find is Functional value is 2.5 and it's large between 2 and 3. We are going to see that this is our S0 and this is our, our S1. Are you it? So it means that our S1 is equal to 3, our S0 is equal to 2. So our H is S1 minus S0 and this is equal to 3 minus 2, which is 1. Are you it? This is 1. And then viewers, look at the board. Let us also find what we call P. Look at the formula. We have P here, P. So let's find P. And as I explained in the, the last two videos, P is equal to SP minus S not all over H. SP is known to be 2.5 minus our S not, which is 2, all over H. This is a constant range between the successive values of S. And this is 1. And this one will give us 0.5. Are you it? 0 0.5. Now, you have to look on the board. Because we are finding the functional value of 2.5, and 2.5 lies between 2 and 3, if this is our S0, then this will be the corresponding F0. This one. 
And don't forget, we are looking at central differences interpolation. We were still liking this one to make folders. If you are made folder, what you do is that you go forward, you come back. Go forward, you come back. Do you see? So, if this is the functional value of S0, this one, then this is what you are going to do. Look on the board. You are made folder. So, you are going to behave like a made folder. You go forward, you come back. You go forward, you come back. So, look at it. So you go for it like this. I said, then you go back. Then you go for it. So the values you are going to use here will be this, this, this. But I have to go for it first. So you go for it, you go back. You go for it, you go back. You see it? So these are the values. So what this means that from the table, our F naught is equal to 14. I said it, this one. And then Delta, delta f not plus half is equal to 26. These are the values you need for the table. And when these values are obtained, you can easily find the functional value. Now the next one, delta squared f not for the table is 16. And finally, delta q f naught plus half this is equal to 6 ok, so now let me play this side so it's not difficult at all it's not difficult at all if you're able to get the the required or the necessary values the needed values finding the function value is so simple so we are just going to use the formula so it means that f of 2.5 we are using the formula this is equal to f naught is 14 plus p and p is 0 0.5 i see it times delta f naught plus half delta f naught plus half is 26 i see it plus p p is 0 0.5 and then p minus 1, 0 0.5 minus 1 is negative 0 0.5. Delta squared f naught. Delta squared f naught is 16. All over 2 factorial. 2 factorial means 2 times 1. And it is 2. Plus, we are here. p. p plus 1. p is 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 plus 1 is 1.5. I see it, and then this is p 0 0.5 p minus 1. If p is 0 0.5, then p minus 1 will be negative 0 0.5. Delta cubed f naught plus half six all over 3 factorial. 3 factorial is 3 times 2, and this is 6. And US, if you use your calculator to do this, you should get 24. 0.625. It means that the functional value of 2.5 is 24.625. Yes, it is not difficult at all. Thank you very much for your attention. For more of this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shamala Junior, if you have not done so.